Hi guys, welcome to the latest video. This time I'm picking orders again. I've got 10 orders here that have sold on eBay and I'll show you um, what they sold for and um, a little bit more about them as I pick them out the boxes. So I hope you enjoy it. I really need to reorganize this box a bit more again. I've been listing media and DVDs and just chuck these in. Um, but I saw these two PS2 games. I did a little bundle of Crash Bandicoot games and they've both sold. And another one that has sold as well, it's a Tatio Legends game for the PS2. Should be here somewhere. It's the Atari one. Oh, here it is. Tatio. Yes, this sold. Tatio, Tatio Legends. Includes Space Invaders, Bubble Bobble, Rainbow Islands, Phoenix, Operation Wolf, and many more. Decent price. These are still trickling away. Scene setters, large vinyl prints. Um, I really need to revise the listing on these so I sell them as individuals as well, see if that helps. As you can see, I've got absolutely loads of them. They've been sitting there for well over a year now. Um, so yeah, I might do something with that listing, I think, to try and shift some more of them. You may have seen in one of the auction halls, I think it was the last auction I went to, picked up this Breville kettle. I actually paid three pound for it. I thought it was gonna be brand new in the box. It wasn't, so um, I got it. It was a bit of a fail, really, but I, I listed it. And it sold on eBay. I also put it on Facebook, but ended up selling it on eBay. I thought it would be more a Facebook thing. Um, but yeah, used kettles are the new big thing, I think. You might have seen in one of my live photography streams me... Um, sorting through and listing one of these sparklets um, soda stream type items. Yeah. Sparklet siphon. So it comes with the tablets, some um, pellet things. Um, yeah, and that's sold on eBay. This took quite a while to sell. It's a framed picture. Um, as you can see, it's got the name Squire on there. It's an oil painting. Um, I thought this would be quite popular, but it's been on sale for months now. Without any interest, so I had it up really high to begin with because I had no idea of the value or if the artist was... Um, you know, well known, anything like that, but um, I ended up reducing it, reducing it, and in the end, it sold um, not as much as I thought it would go for. I think it was around the twenty pound mark, or or something like that, um, and it sold on eBay. Over here, I sold these. So these PlayStation 2 racing car games. Put them as a big bundle. Um, and they sold. I think this is the best way for me to deal with um, deal with these sort of games, really. Otherwise, they just sit there. So this vintage telephone. Um, it's a key one. Put your money in the slot and you can make a call Things like for use in hotels, guest rooms, etc. Um, obviously, probably doesn't work or, or doesn't um, 
function like it should, I don't know. I haven't tested it at all. Solders, spares, repairs unseen. Um, and it sold on um, eBay and the buyer's actually going to come and pick it up um, on Saturday. So I don't have to pack this at all. It's collection. Um, I did offer posted, so they chose to collect it, which is fine. And um, yeah, another eyesight about the door. This was featured in a car boot sale haul, probably November time, I think. So this little handheld sewing machine, um, this sold um, fairly cheap. It was just in a, an auction box, um, but may as well list it and it sold. This was listed off the death pile fairly recently. Um, here we go. I put it off listing it because it was missing the thermometer at the top. Um, but it's one of the barometers again. I sold one fairly recently for about 30 odd pound. This one went for a little bit cheaper because it is missing the barometer. Although since listing the other one, I realized that you can't really sell mercury items on eBay. And obviously the thermometer has mercury on. So instead of saying, oh, it's missing its thermometer, I actually said that to comply with eBay rules, the mercury th thermometer has been removed. Um, so I listed it and I still got a decent price for it. Um, so pretty happy with that sale. And it looks like here, it means it's very dry, which is good in my storage. That's all down to my dehumidifier I have running 24 seven. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. If you did, please leave me a like, give me a thumbs up and um, think about subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.